Hello YouTube, today my video will be on how to tie moss trees and get the tree effect in a short amount of time. To start off, we need four main items. The first is the wooden branch on which you want to grow the moss on. The next is super glue. Look for the gel type with the compound ethyl cyanoacrylate. The, um, the glue works even when wet. So this will, you can glue wet moss onto the branches just fine. The next item we need is sponge. This, this is to build volume before we glue the moss onto the tree, which I'll demonstrate later. And the last item we need is moss. Whipping or Christmas moss works well, but you can try other types of mosses also. The best type of wood to use for moss trees is bonsai wood. The wood already comes with many branches, so it takes less effort to make it look like a tree. Short pieces of driftwood will also work, but it takes more effort to build a convincing canopy. First, we start by building the volume of the canopy through using sponge. So we will glue small pieces of sponge where we want the canopy to seem to be the thickest. Rather than gluing moss directly onto the branches, so we get some green twigs. This will give volume beneath the moss, and it's a quicker way to get the moss tree result. After we have built the underlying volume of the moss tree, we can begin gluing the moss directly onto the sponges as well as surrounding branches. Only a thin layer should be glued at each, each position to ensure that the moss bonds well. You will need quite a lot of super glue to complete this stage, so make sure that you have enough super glue before you start this operation. Because I'm using this tree for a very narrow tank, I've only glued moss on one side of the tree. You can still see the sponge uh, volume underlying layer if I turn the tree around. However, I will say for the front view, uh, it already looks almost complete. Some of the super glue marks will still be visible as white marks uh, on the branches and moss. However, in about one to two weeks time in the aquarium, when the moss grows out, it should cover them pretty well. The next example is if you don't have the nice bonsai wood with the multi branch, the form factor, you can use uh, plain branches. For this, you need to uh, be more creative in building the shape of your canopy. Here, I use um, two white, uh, roundish white sponges as volume for the canopy. This is after finishing one side of the canopy. As you can see, it is nowhere as nice as if you use the bonsai wood. If you were more creative with your canopy shape, you might still get a nice tree at the end of the day. So you can use sponge to build more form into the tree. However, I think that this method um, is better than just tying or gluing more straight onto the branches. Because like I said, you'll end up with green twigs and it'll take a long time before um, you can shape the moss into a large enough mass to look like a tree. So this is what the tree looks like one week later in a one gallon vase. You can still see some white spots on the top where the super glue uh, is showing. The moss will take a little while more to cover that up. And with this, uh, this is the end of my video. I hope uh, you guys uh, have fun building moss trees and thanks for watching.